Hello, in the last tutorial we had actually established lots of things, particularly connecting the database and building the place where we can store our information known as the client reg.db. Next, we want to connect our submit button you remember the submit button here I would show you now this submit button that once clicked it would then send whatever information that would have been entered here to be stored within the database client iPhone reg that is low um, client um, underscore h dot db all right follow me and see how we do this here we will locate this section where if all if you press the submit button you should validate that there are information there and once everything is okay with no, with no errors then it should submit the data after display so I'll put down here save data to database okay so anytime you see that underline tells you that there's an error but what that means is that we need to define something in that region and here we take that up and beneath here just diff which is defining a variable and then you would can actually full com um, colon there and then borrow this information here that is connecting you connect remember equals SQLite 3 dot connect remember the name of our database go up here to find it is here so we can actually copy this actually let me just copy it over here and bring it down to where this point here you adjust this appropriately so that it is one line in line with the rest of information there but this is not going to do anything for you what you need to do is an insert command and we got that right so in execute function you're going to put insert so it's the syntax again is capital insert into the name of the table is patients and then you will put values and you capture each of these information and put them within uh, some brackets never not to confuse you what I will do is I'll put this brackets here and I will put colon so full then you put comma there space DOB sorry that has to be the same information there DOB comma space gender 
comma space home address comma space phone contact this is the last item so it doesn't need any space for it to be given now you will have to remove this okay and cover this just follow as you can see here right up to this point and double quotes okay just ignore this this will all change once we get everything right and at the end here put a comma okay and we'll bring that down here okay ideally this has to go as well because we remove the triple quotes and this will have to go as well and instead we're going to use the curly brackets that one and we're going to fill that space with some information that is so we'll take each of these items and within quotes put them so inside the placeholder of full name you're going to put values and within that is remember again name put comma next would be dob full colon values sorry again making sure that you get everything right values square brackets dob capitals comma and then gender within that and you follow for each of them remember gender was in has to be in capital as well don't forget to put commas each time home address values as address comma last one within the placeholder of phone contact put it here full colon values sorry that has to be phone last one doesn't need a bracket remember again we need to remove this it's no longer needed and you can see that all the errors have cleared you can remove all of this appearance so that it's just for the sake of clarity demonstrate a very simple section that way okay so this is the code that we have done in order to get this information full name okay so this full name will be stored within this variable dob is dob gender will go into that 
so whatever you enter as gender will get into that space address will get into that holder which is here phone contact will go in there and all everything must agree based on what you have established if there's some error it will not go through okay but you will capture the information from here and then I will take you to the database so you can see what has happened let's first of all see what it what shows when we put in an hypothetical information all right the name of our page of let's imagine a patient John Jahas okay was born 1980 John is a man and address Townsend in some location a number was one two three four uh, submit so it's saying the following information has been added to the database let's confirm whether we want that this information to be saved or not if you want to change you can edit cancel and edit but if you don't just go on and it actually says it's gone to the database so it means that our placeholder was correct right so let's let me take you to the database exit this just to see see the client right here and let's move this cursor it's not the best way to see it but you will see something towards the end here okay can you see that there is a table there with patients details and see John Jahas there so in some way we actually successfully created a database that has information our next task is to ensure that what was saved here is being can be captured and that we can populate a particular table that will show uh, on click all the information that would have been entered within a particular long list and we can do a lot more activities within it so before we close this let's create a button that can on click show all right so let's click close that come over here within the button section we can uh, create another button SG again button and we want to call that show all and again we can expand it remember how we did the button expansion x in the x axis to be true and we will work on this next but at least see how it looks before we can end this section you can see here perfect so at the moment if you click it is not going to do anything because we have not connected it with any activity we will at the next video show how this will generate a large data of all that has been entered and display it within a format and that will be the beauty of this database app we have been building looking forward to meeting you at that time for now bye bye Please 